Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Kaze and the Wild Masks. We are in World 2, the Frozen Mountains, heading into level Sliding Salad. So let's check this out and see what kind of ice levels are in store for us today. I don't particularly like ice levels and ice physics, but we will figure this out and see how well we do I do like that there is a nice level, unique level design with every level, which is really cool. And I'm not sure if those are just going to keep on coming or not. Yes, it does look like they keep on coming. Can I destroy that? Well, that would be really cool if I could destroy that little igloo there, but it does not appear to be the case. One of the things I would like to do is not fall in the holes. One of the things that I like to do is to check out the default settings and see how the game plays and that sort of thing before going into and switching stuff up. So things like the normal difficulty we like to check out first so you get a good feeling of how it is supposed to be run. Now that we have done a world, I think it is about time to switch it up a little bit. We're going to switch it up. Oh wait, not right here. We're going to switch it up to the easier option here and see how that works out for us. That is not, where's the difficulty? There we go. We're going to go to the casual mode to give us an extra hearts and checkpoints for those who enjoy a platform game, but haven't played in a while. Now I play a lot of platformer games. I'm just maybe not the best at them. So let's see if we could do this and see if we can maybe have a little bit easier time and see how the oh that's something there see how that changes the dynamics of the game to give us an extra heart to see how that works out there is a our first checkpoint which is nice oh i didn't like that that went down i wonder did i see i did see that there just out of the corner of my eye let's see how that runs this bonus stage to see how well we could do here. Defeat seven enemies. It looks like we got little guys that we could pop on here. It doesn't look like, oh, oh, so close. So it looks like we're gonna have to do them in a certain order, it looks like. Let's see if we can figure out the best order to do this. Let's bump, get that one first. I don't know if we'll be able to make it up to that one. That might have to be our last one, the really low one. And let's try this one. Oh, wow. I didn't even make that one at all. Okay. We can do this. Just need to hit these perfectly in the right order and still didn't get enough over that way. I'm curious if there is a better way to do these and I am not sure what that would be. I feel it should be, it should be that way, but I'm not sure if that's the case because I'm not sure if we can, I feel this it, over there, there we go. But how are we going? Oh, we have to get actually up back up over there that's going to be really hard so can i go way over here bump that one come down okay i've got a way to do this so we have to hit how are we going to do this now we're going to jump hit this one first over and then this is going to pull us back up there we go that was actually a little bit tricky but we got it figured out in the end and we've got the first crystal there we got tore up on that one. I, I'm not the best at trying to figure those out, but let's see how we do here. It looks like we picked up another one of those hearts, but I'm not sure how that's going to give us. Oh gosh, that was close. How that is going to give us an extra life or how it denotes that we should have an extra hit there. I don't, trying to see if I can find that other one. Here we go. We got a little bit more crystals, which is going to help us out. I want to get above these guys and I don't know if I can. There we go. Those guys are definitely a little tricky in getting, there we go. I saw it right there at the corner. 
the Z. We're actually doing a pretty good on here. The last few levels in the last world gave us a run for our money in being able to collect everything, but this one seems a little bit harder here, and I see it down there. Let's see. Oh, man, I can't make that jump now, can I? I'm going to have to jump straight off of that, it looks like. I was hoping to get that from where we were, but it looks like we're going to have to jump at a better time or maybe not jump off, I think would probably be the better way of doing it. You would think that I haven't played a platformer in a long time. Considering how I'm playing this, we're not doing very hot here. I can do this, I really can. We've, we've played platform, platformers before. I can't say platformers, but I definitely have played platformers before. Here we go. And when you get, I'm not gonna get that one. That was a little too difficult to get last time. Oh wow, these. Here we go, let's get the Z. Here we go. I'm not sure if we're gonna get all the crystals though, or enough crystals to be able to get that 100 mark. I think the best thing to do is hold our ears and come back and hit, there we go. These have definitely, the bonus stage have definitely stepped up a notch in this world. This shouldn't be too difficult. We just gotta avoid these guys. We do only have one hit in these bonus stages, so we've gotta be really careful on that. Do I have to jump off of one of those or I'm gonna have to jump? Oh gosh, oh, we got it with no time left. Wow, that was a close one. But we have done what we needed to do, which is the good thing. That jump, that bounce there messes me up a little bit. And it, it's not a full jump when you, oh, how am I gonna get? Oh, okay, so we're gonna have to go all the way down on this and see if I can get that E there. Wow, that bounce, oh no. That bounce, when you bounce off of them, it takes a little bit more time. So you are, the elevation or the, the thing goes up, back up a little bit more if you bounce on them. So what we're gonna have to do is jump off of them as best we can going to go ahead and pick this one up here oh whoa that was close Woo let's see if we can get back to where we were not oh the z was right here so let's grab the z i have not seen the e yet but these have definitely stepped up the level and the ice physics are not being my friend here that's for sure we gone ahead and picked that up so we don't have to worry about getting that again. But the thing that's going to be difficult is, well, this one's a ground pound, isn't it? Let's see if we can get it on the ice physics there. Okay, this is where I need to be. Ah, shoot, I, I can't hit him. That's gonna be the problem is I can't. There we go, we got it, there we go. Now we just have to try to get across here without getting hit. There we go. The ears definitely help a little bit there. Those frozen carrots are proving to be a little bit of a difficulty there. And we've got through the first level here of the ISO and we picked up everything again. That's, it's been a little while since we did that, but and we did not get a no damage there. Yeah, I figured that was gonna ha happen, but I get the sliding carrots. That's kind of cool. So slingshot ride, this is not gonna sound fun to me. One of the things that I would like to know if you are watching this, have you guys played Donkey Kong Country? And what are your thoughts about Donkey Kong Country? Is this a good representation of it? Did you enjoy the game when you played it? And if you are playing this game, I would also like to know how you feel about it. I am not 100% sure I like these little slingshots here. I've never was really a big fan 
of the barrels in a Donkey Kong country. So this is kind of the same thing. In a way, not exactly. So far, it's been very similar. One of the things that I didn't like about a lot about the barrels what <laughs> there's a hole right there is that a lot of times you didn't know where you were coming or not coming from you were shooting it to the levels were very large and a lot of times you were shooting over into an area that you couldn't see and that's what the big thing i didn't like about the barrels in Donkey Kong Country a lot of, it was like a a blind jump where you couldn't see the ground you if you can't see where you're going to end up being I feel that that's not a very well done mechanic I don't want to fall back in there there we go I should have just I wonder what I could do can I hit these with that oh i can that's an interesting new mechanic that i was unaware of is being able to hit those guys oh shoot okay it does throw you out that's the thing that we'll have to i completely missed that one we'll have to get ready is that those throw you out regardless of where you are timing it's it's a timed thing that it will activate at a certain time instead of you hitting the button to get it to activate i am trying to get through here and just get through the levels i wasn't going to really plan on trying to hit everything since it seems from the first world that the areas seem to be the thing the pickups seem to be more of a like a collectathon kind of thing where you do not need all the items so we've got to be really careful about and we just want to have this guy throw me up can i throw it ah shoot oh there we go we made it we made it we got hit but we made it that's good I like these little carrot guys they're pretty cool okay wow what is this okay this is going to be looking like thing that we're gonna have to shoot ourselves i like she's using her ears to pull that crossbow like thing back but this is just like the barrels which something i wasn't really a fan of but we'll see maybe they were able to do it in a way that is not as bad and still we are shooting way across the world and you just i don't like the idea of shooting to a place that you can't see ah, shoot i did not make that and that makes me mad i'm not gonna oh well, there we go Okay, so if I could just and it's these lining these up and being making so that we have to line the hits up exactly now here this one's going to shoot off regardless of what I do oh there we go this kind of mechanic is what was always frustrating to me here we go we got the Z at least okay, at least I landed on that guy I bet you down there is a bonus of some sort let's run down there and see if we can locate it oh not what i expected but there's the is that that's a bonus stage okay like that's not the end that's not the end at all reach the goal yeah no i don't like this a bit okay so we've got to go to this one right below me what's going to show shoot me to that one I don't know okay is this just can I just it wasn't that one or that one I wonder if it's a matter of I mean I can't control any of them so is it a matter of just knowing oh there we go 
just what's the word I'm trying to use process of elimination when you keep on trying the one and if it doesn't lead you find the next one or try the next one and then it wasn't that hard you were able to see the whole world which was good or the whole level I was very close but that's frustrating to get knocked all the way back here I was really hoping to do better here but again if we can get past this little bit I don't think one little mechanic should ruin a game but we'll see how much they use these slingshots as we go see I've missed several of the stuff and have to use do a lot of this board over again I really wish they wouldn't have put this mechanic in okay we can fire as long as we can get over each little step it's just trying to get this the timing is frustrating to say the least in my opinion oh gosh now if I use just br yeah okay you lose the Z by not using the jar maybe the jar or the Z was in the jar we can do this it's going to take us a little bit of time to do it it looks like but we can get this done if i can get through this if there's a minecart level in this i would have to say this is probably a little bit better than the barrels but i don't think by much in my opinion i like to show off the game and run the game as much as possible so that we can have a little adventure together but that's one of the reasons why i don't cut a lot out of the game when i do the videos is because i feel that we are in this little adventure together here we go we got the z what did I do that? Oh, gosh. We can. But we don't have to hit it for. So it looks like I can't tell where. I can't tell when we have a second heart. That's the tricky part. This easier level should allow us to have a, a second heart or a second hit oh gosh that was close i do like she's using her ears to pull it back though that's definitely a clever mechanic there oh we can make it without that one that's good because we just about flubbed that grab the z if we can get a little bit further that shoots us way over to that now let's see if we can shoot into that one and i like the other way already better <laughs> oh okay there's the e that's good but i have to hit that upper one to get it okay well we are at 94 i kind of like that there was two paths there to go in i don't know how you get back up to the other one i'm gonna try to shoot into that one so we get those extra little bit of crystals at the end those were hard and they're definitely stepping up the difficulty in these bonus levels as well as the levels overall yeah i was yeah that slingshot is not my favorite mechanic here but there's that brick wall that we don't know what's behind these tiger popsicle let's see if we can get through one more stage in this episode hopefully we will be able to but 
they are giving us a little bit more difficulty than the first world which really they should they, i mean it's good to have the difficulty step up as we go oh can i get up there no oh, no ah oh, come on i should have just probably propellered off of it instead of trying to get back onto that so we got these levels here so we have and this is another thing that they're doing really well is these things that show you a mechanic introduce a mechanic in a way where it's fairly easy and simple in the first shot but then it gets difficult more difficult as it goes on so when you had these little moving platforms on the chains at first it was over a pretty easy little vine patch and now it's over a much harder vine patch and then you have those icicles that are dropping from a moving platform instead of a solid platform which makes it a little bit harder as well there i am not even making it to the area in which you can get a second heart really so that's a little disappointing and frustrating to say but hopefully we'll be able to make it to ah shoot okay where we go i keep on getting hit before i make it to the next heart which is is these gonna fall okay they are gonna fall but can i spin through that and not get hurt oh gosh we're gonna be running i'm not sure okay drop let those drop get that there we go and we okay if we just run under them i think we'll be okay wow this is quite an adventure here looks like we've got a new mask the tiger which is kind of cool but i don't know what the, oh a little dash kind of attack there can i go oh it gives us the ability to wall climb that's cool i like that and a little dash so that's going to be very nice there that's really cool oh can i i can't oh wait that's good because it shows us right there that we cannot wall climb on ice covered walls so we're gonna have to keep that in mind dash across that can i dash into enemies there we go so how are we going to do this let's see if i can get this first one to drop dash through that oh dash wall climb this is getting tricky oh yeah, that platform was there right at the right time oh gosh and i'm not going to be able to get back up there Woo. that thing takes off when it takes off okay oh gosh what was I? oh i was supposed to drop and then dash there i see that now i was like how am i supposed to do that Hit the z we're gonna have to dash fall off straight and then dash it looks like on that one area dash through that hit him okay i don't think we missed anything going through it again this is this was the tricky one right here getting that oh yeah there we go we got it go back jump dash there we go yeah so we're gonna have to fall a little bit and then dash there we go ah we're getting it we're getting i think our celeste that we've played are helping us out a little bit here this is definitely kind of that feel to it but we've got them oh is that a checkpoint yeah can i oh that's exactly what i wanted to do oh gosh what what no Ugh. okay yikes okay that is a ground pound when i oh no oh no that's not what i wanted to do Ew. ah crap okay, is that a okay there we go i was like what did i miss that i couldn't land on oh, shoot so that can hit me there 
I can't do that. I have to jump or something to get a little bit higher off that. I made that. I think that's where I died. I tried. Ah, yep, I got. I think I might just let that one go. I need that though. Here we go. I just needed to hit the tip of the top of that, I think. Here we go. And dash. Dash. Just keep on dashing as we go, it looks like. Okay. Oh, gosh. There we go. We got I think that's the second heart there. Ah, shoot. We were supposed to dash above that. Ah, oh, man. This is like... Not, I want to say impossible, but you can definitely be on your game here. Hitting all these very precise jumps and dashes. I was really worried about missing that. Good thing there's not a real timer on this. I'd be <laughs> really upset if there was. Okay, get the heart. Let's see if we can dash over here. Oh, shoot. I was hoping that I would be able to get above that. Oh, no. Oh, man. Okay, I think we could do this here. We can get through this level. This is, I like platformers. And I'm not usually a person that really, I don't think there's anything wrong with the game. I'm not a person that just trashes a game. I don't know if this is my kind of game, my kind of platformer. I don't really, I think it's a great game and I can objectively say that I think a good, a game is good without liking the game and i think this is one of those great games in which i can objectively say that it is a good game without necessarily liking the game this platforming here is just the not the type of platforming i really enjoy and that is a very crucial <sighs> part of the game to do this really tight platforming here and I like platformers but it's just not the kind that I am fond of if we can get through this level I would be really happy I'm not a game a person that enjoys games that are overly difficult or frustrating I know there is a whole genre of people out there that do like those kind of games but it's definitely not my style here i can't get to where i need to be and that's the frustrating part of it again i will say that i do believe this game is a good game the mechanics are working like they should there's no overtly bad parts of it the it's all working nicely the graphics are wonderful there's no bugs or anything like that at least that i have been able to find in it so it is definitely a good game it's just i am not as fond of these tight platformers here as maybe someone else would be there we go that's how we're supposed to do it i guess I can't get I didn't get up high enough or maybe I dashed at the wrong time maybe I was supposed to dash a, a little bit earlier or later I don't know we were able to make it through that last one let's see if we can make it I feel that I'm not getting the hearts that i should are we still on 
casual mode. That's what I want. Oh, the level will be started. Yeah, let's go ahead and restart that. Maybe I didn't put it on casual mode in the last time. So let's see if we can do a little bit better here with the three hits. Do it once or twice here, and then we're going to end the episode. Oh, already messing up. Not good, not good. Okay, we can go through this. There is the K. Let's pick up the K and we can spin through that. I just really need that extra hit, I think. Oh, you can see he's gold now. So he's gold. That it was. Ah, shoot. So it goes from red to gold to give you that extra hit. Let's see if we can make it to that place. I would really like to be able to. Make it. Oh, come on. I'm dead. Not going to make it. Jeez. I can't even do it with three hits. Wow. Oh, wow. That's interesting. So it keeps me. There was definitely a, another platform there that wasn't there originally only sets me back so much so it's not checkpoints that i have to get to it's kind of hidden checkpoints it looks like because there we go oh gosh here we go let's see if we can there we go we got the tiger mask here let's see if we can get through this tiger area oh i forgot the other letter up there and see what we can do about this I like the tiger mechanics even as well it's just the platforming is a little too tight for me oh I thought I could make it I couldn't so so close there I should have took that break oh shoot I'm not sure I can get back up there yeah I can now we're back down to this, and I'm not sure that we have the hearts in this area to get back. And I wonder if, here we go. If you start out, once you die at that checkpoint with extra hearts, I don't know if you get that. Oh, so that heart gave me three hits, it looks like, because he is gold. That's interesting. So the hearts now give me more health. It looks like they automatically give me the amount I need. I can do this. That was a really weird jump again. Here we go. I just get over there. I got over here. Now let's see if I can make this do no, what? Oh, come on. We were so close there. Okay. When I respawn. Okay. I just have to make it to that, which will give me the hearts back. This is definitely a tricky game nope i hit that wrong shoot we're not gonna make this come on nope i need to jump there i think on that last one i'm not sure i can make it through this i uh, nope you've got to really push up on that ice there and maybe that's why those guys are there to show you that you need to push up as far as you can on that ice. Then you dash. There you go. That's that's, that's what it's gonna have to be. No, I jumped on the. Oh, come on. I'm not. I can't make it. I don't know how what I'm doing wrong up there, but. I am definitely not being able to make that jump there. Look back. 
also have to anticipate the movement of these you almost have to jump where they're not There we go. We made it to that one. Oh, come on. No, get back over there. Well, at least we were. Oh, oh no, no. I don't know what to do about that. I do appreciate you all watching in this episode. We have failed miserably in this level and it's I'm not sure if we're gonna continue with this series. I was really hopeful for this game, but the platforming is just going to be a little too tight for me, it looks like. I can't seem to be able to hit the things I need to do to get where we need to be, and that's the real difficulty thing here. I know it's right there, and you jump off and there we go we got that one and i think it's right there there we go we got one more and i'm not trying to go up to get that there's the end i do appreciate everybody watching thank you so much if you enjoy tight platformers or you have really enjoyed Donkey kong country then this is definitely a game for you i thought that since it was a modern retro we might be able to do a little bit away from the difficulty stuff that i did not enjoy in donkey kong country but it appears to have the barrels which i didn't like as well as the newer mechanic of super tight platforming it's a great game it's not my style of game thank you so much for watching and i will see you all next time bye everybody